și cu asta de rur, e mic tu, para bașchis, să citeți Garfield în New Jersey, le sot, că mi-a fost intervist, cu tare ne bașchis să citeți Garfield, iet mai în majori Garfield, Richard Rigolosi, de manageri i citeți de City Hall, Thomas Dutch. It's a great honor to to talk to you, both of you because uh, he ran the city for a long time, for 20 years, and now you are uh, on the second term of running for mayor again. You have been in an American community, and I believe that both of you know very, very much about this community, so. Well, first of all, I want to thank the Albanian community, Garfield Albanian Alliance. You know, uh, they're supporting me and my team. And Garfield is only two square miles, but we have the largest Albanian population in Bergen County. And out of that, you know, I'm also a principal of the Garfield Middle School. And in our school district, I'm gonna talk for our school district and I'll have our city manager talk about the population in the city. But in the school district, you know, there's 6,000 students and about 18% of our students are Albanians. And that's, that's a pretty big population. It is the fastest growing population in Garfield. Out of all the other diversity and all the other uh, nationalities, Albanian community is the fastest growing. And just about a year ago, we just, uh, the Albanian Alliance, the Garfield Albanian Alliance, uh, put up the Mother Teresa statue up on Harrison Ave. We donated a park to the Albanian Alliance, which is about a year ago at this time. So that was your donation, right? I mean, the no, city is... The Garfield Albanian Alliance to the city of Garfield. To the city of Garfield. To the city of Garfield. We gave them the park, they put the statue up there, and it's a park that is being used. People go there and pray all the time. It's a wonderful park, they take care of the park, and it's such a great thing. During the COVID virus, uh, they've donated over 2,000 cases of water, food for our families in the city of Garfield, and they continue to help us out whenever we need help. Uh, they, they volunteer so much for our city, I can't thank them enough. Throughout the Passaic and Bergen County, the Albanian uh, community is very tight with the police department. So whenever they need help and assistance uh, and volunteers, they're, they're always, the Albanian Alliance is always willing to help out, or the Albanian community, I keep saying Alliance, is always willing to help out. And our police department always reaches out to our community, especially the Albanian, Garfield Albanian Alliance, for volunteerism, for, for donations, for things like that, and they're always willing to help out. I'm gonna pass this on to our city manager. Maybe. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk a little bit about Garfield and to talk especially about the Albanian community. Uh, here in the city of Garfield, we have, uh, we speak 46 different languages. This city has gone through uh, a, a major changes, and the changes have all been good. And they've been good because the recent immigrants that come here have been so supportive of the city and so supportive of being American. Uh, the Albanian community is no exception. If we look at the overall city population, we probably have about 46% of our population is Eastern European people. Um, of that, uh, you have primarily, there's a lot of Polish people in the city, but up and coming, right behind them is the Albanian community. The Albanians have found a home here. We welcome them here. Um, the mayor said it before, the dedication of the Mother Teresa Park was an opportunity for the Albanian community to come out, show everyone who they were, show everyone how proud they are of who they are, and how proud they are of Mother Teresa. So the Albanian community has become an integral part of the city of Garfield, and we're proud to have them. Mr. Gaba, Albal Gaba has uh, helped a lot and worked together with you in order to have a statue and a uh, celebration that day, which I was uh, present as you saw it and you were there. Mr. Gaba has been a real leader in our community. Mr. Gaba approached the mayor. Uh, the mayor then asked me, you know, can we, can, can we do this and how do we do this? And, and we put it together. We were able to put it together. We were only able to put it together because of Mr. Gaba and the mayor. All right, you had support from the very onset. And the day, the day of the dedication, you know, as you said, you were there. You had people in a procession. You had members of the Muslim Islamic community, the Islamic community. You had uh, the Albanian Orthodox priest was here. You had the Roman Catholic priest here. So you had broad participation. So the Albanian community touches on everybody, touches on Christianity, touches on, on, on the Muslim faith. 
and touches on the basic goodness of the people. Plus, can you tell us uh, about Albanians in the business? How, how they're known in, in, in business of construction, restaurants and others like uh, every community? The, the mayor really is in touch with the business community. The mayor has been very supportive of the business community in the time that he's here. You know, I myself am Slovak. My grandparents came here, all four from the same county in Slovakia. And when they came, they were very much like the Albanian community. They were entrepreneurs, they were business people. They looked to start small businesses. And they started them and they helped the city to grow. Well, some of, we needed the, the, the shot in the arm from the Albanian community. A lot, of, a lot of the people who have come in are very entrepreneurial. They, they want to start a business and they work very, very hard to make it a success. I want to just let the mayor comment on that. And I'll speak specifically for the Garfield Albanian community. Uh, they are hard-working, blue-collar class, middle-class workers. They have their own businesses, the general contractors, small little restaurants and delis and bagel shops all throughout the city of Garfield. You can see them anytime. You can see their trucks, their vans, anytime from doing roofing to masonry work to siding to windows. They, um, and they put back into the community. They work in the community, they hire local people from Garfield, and, and they're always willing to put back into the community. And you know, they're always willing to do something for everybody. They are the hardest working people that you could imagine in the city of Garfield. Garfield has always been a city that has been blessed by waves and waves of new immigration. Um, since 1898, when the city was first established, it has been all different communities that have come here and that had given, had made this a very, very special place. Uh, we are blessed now with waves of Albanian immigration. Um, so this is part of the continuing, the continuing growth of the city of Garfield. Uh, we're proud to be part of it. I'm proud to work with Mayor Rigoloso. Um, every day he makes a difference. I work to make a difference. We are thrilled that the Albanian community finds itself at home here in the city of Garfield, and we want them to always feel that they are part of the very fabric of this community. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, I'm honored to be the mayor of the city of Garfield. I'm honored to work with the Albanian community in Garfield. They're an amazing community. I can't thank them enough for everything they have done during the COVID virus pandemic. They have helped out, they have volunteered their time. They are an up and coming force in our community. It's an honor. I am running for re-election. I'm here to help out anybody that needs to be helped out. But more importantly is that I'm here to help out the city of Garfield. And if you are living in the city of Garfield, I look for anybody's support. Thank you very much and stay safe. So I have been the city manager for quite some time. I have worked with many mayors, and I have the good fortune of having served as the mayor myself from 1980 to 1988. The reason that Mayor Rigoloso is so essential and so important to this city, and the reason he needs to be elected again is because he is a people person. He is a man who understands every community. And if he's not familiar with the community, he works to understand that community. He makes contacts. He connects with the people. Um, every day he tries to help people. During this pandemic, I'm happy to say that with the help of the Albanian community, this man, this mayor, with the, with the volunteer crew he has put together from the beginning of the pandemic to now, has distributed over 80,000 meals, 80,000 meals, a huge accomplishment. So the mayor has to be somebody who, has, who understands the soul of the city. Mayor Rigoloso understands the soul of the city. In fact, he's become the soul of the city. So I'm proud to say that he, he, he deserves re-election resoundingly, resoundingly. Thank you, Tom. Um... First of all, just a little about me. So four years ago, I decided to run for city council. Uh, I was running because I wanted to see something different. I grew up in the city all my life. I come from a family of 10, uh, all professionals, doctors and lawyers. Um, and I decided I wanted to run, so I ran. I ended up becoming the top vote getter. 
And I, I like community. I like bringing things out. I remember growing up in the city of Garfield, and there was always an event every weekend. And families got together, and you got to know your families, just like the Albanian community. When people come in from Albania and they move into the city of Garfield, they know everybody. And that's what I, I missed growing up. Now I have, a, uh, I have six kids myself, from a 13-year-old to a 4-year-old. And I want them to experience the same thing I experienced. So I decided to run. I became the mayor, and uh, I am honored to be the mayor. You know, Tom has been the mayor two times in the city of Garfield. He's been working as a city manager for the last 24 years, and he's a great mentor to me. And, you know, I look for the Albanian uh, community to support me because I want to continue to bring community to the city of Garfield. I want the residents, not just the Albanian community, but all the residents to have memories. When their kids grow up, or when the Albanian community and their kids, my students from the middle school or the elementary school, when those kids grow up and they may move on to other parts of the country or other parts of the world, or even stay here in Garfield, and lay their roots in Garfield, I want them to go back into their memory banks and say to themselves, I had a great childhood growing up in the city of Garfield. And that's why I'm running again. And that's why I look for the support from the Albanian community to support me and my ticket. You know, we have a vision. And the vision is to continue to move Garfield forward. So everybody in the city of Garfield has this great memory of the city of Garfield. Uh, Uh, Richard Pegolosol e uh, Thomas Dutch që kontribuon shumë, punuon shumë dhe u aktivizuon jashtë zakoni shumë që i të realizohet uh, vepra për nanën të eze që ishte dhenja e parkut dhe ma vun vendosja shtatores, po naturisht se këtu rolin kryesor e kaluit uh, Alban Gaba me familjen e ti për nanën të eze. Ishte një biset shumë, shoqërore, shumë misore, aq ma shumë për komunitetin shqiptarë amerikanë dhe i fenderojmë për respektin që të reguen për ne dhe për televizionin kultura shqiptare.